I'm gonna show you how to get more views and watch time using TubeBuddy with some features that a lot of people don't even know exist. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so you may or may not be affected with the changes that are coming up. So I wanted to go ahead and put this video in the queue and move the rest of them out of the way so that I can get this information to you to help you cross that milestone. For this, we're going to need to go to the computer and you are going to need TubeBuddy. I have a link to it down in the description below. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the computer and I'm going to show you some things that a lot of people don't know about TubeBuddy. They're kind of hidden features. So if you don't know that they're there, you're really going to love this. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up to this little box right up here. If you click on that, this is going to show you basically the tools that are on the page. This is gonna show you a bunch of other things that you can click on to use TubeBuddy. But what you wanna look for is you wanna look for this messages tab right here and you wanna click on this. Now, what's gonna happen here is this is going to tell you on one of your recent videos that they have found opportunities on your videos of where you can improve those videos. So as an example here, it's telling me that um, I have comments waiting for a response. It's also telling me that there are suggested tags that I can use to increase my potential of ranking, that there are also social mentions and that I should be adding a card at a particular point in the video and that I got a, a relatively high watch percentage on this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the community comments awaiting response and we're going to compare this. We're gonna take a look at it so I can show you exactly what it's doing. So this is gonna take me into the TubeBuddy admin. So once I'm in there, I'm just gonna click on the comments page and that's gonna take me right to the comments page of that video. So as I'm looking at this, you can see right here, it's for that particular video. And this is absolutely correct. I do have comments in here that I have not replied to. So that tells me that, hey, for the sake of community engagement, I need to come in here and respond to these comments. And when you do that, that can help people keep coming back more and more. Now, when we go back to the dashboard here, I'm gonna click on the next one, which is the suggested tags for SEO. And I'm gonna open that one up. And when we go to this one, you can see right here that it shows me these are other things that will be applicable to my video to help my ranking be stronger. Either views are coming in from suggested that have these tags that are associated with them to help me get connected better in the suggested videos, or adding these to my tags is gonna help make my SEO stronger. Now, in this particular case, I have 484 characters. So if I'm going to do that, I need to look for something that is less than 16 characters. So in this particular case, I don't have that. But one thing that I do want to let you know, when you are using this particular feature, keep relevance in mind. As an example here, this is unknown, right? So what you wanna do, you would not use unknown in your tags. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're using things that are directly applicable to your tags, which almost everything in here, with the exception of that unknown tag, would be a fantastic fit for what's going on down here in the tags. Okay, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the community and social mentions. This is really cool. So what this is gonna do when you open this up is this is going to show you where people have tweeted you, where people have auto-tweeted you in terms of, you know, they added you at a playlist, so it auto-tweets you and things like that. This particular video, I have 23 tweets mentioning this video, which is pretty awesome. So the cool thing for me to do would be to go and favorite and or retweet every one of these tweets to let people know that I appreciate their support. So that's another one of those things in terms of the community that can be really beneficial to you for getting long-term views and growing the amount of people that continually come in and watch your videos. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go into is the audience retention, the ad cards before drop off. This is an awesome recommendation. And let me tell you why. If you wanna increase watch time on your channel, adding cards at the right places before drop offs can be extremely valuable for feeding viewers into more and more of your content. So I'm gonna open this one up. And what this is telling me here, it's saying that there was a 15% drop in retention from the one minute and 48 second mark to the two minute and 19 second mark. So they're telling me to go to my cards page and add a card at the one minute and 48 second mark to direct viewers to the other videos. So I'm gonna open that up and we are going to see exactly what is happening there. And I bet I already did. Yes, I did. And this is, oh, I put it at the 147. So that was pretty close. But you can see right there, basically, you know, what it is is their system is reading your audience retention report and it's saying that, hey, there's a problem right here in terms of a lot of people dropping off from here to here. So we recommend that you put a card before that particular drop off so that people will click on that 
and then go and watch another video of yours so that you can keep them within your trap, so to speak. Now, that was an extremely valuable thing. That is probably, in my opinion, that's probably one of the most valuable things on this list. And then this one down here, this basically just lets us know that our audience retention was relatively high in this video. And when you have videos with high retention, it's typically good practice to make more videos that are similar to this because that lets you know that these are the types of things that your audience is into. If you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.